Welcome back Flamingos. Today I'm going to tell you all about Hollywood Drive-In Mini Golf located in CityWalk, Universal Studios, Orlando, Florida. Hey there Flamingos. So we just recently went and played a round of mini golf at the mini golf course located at the front part of CityWalk when you arrive. This place is super cool. It has two golf courses to choose from. One is uh, spooky haunted graveyard themed and the other one is aliens invade from outer space. There is a super cute um, 57 Chevy style golf cart located at the front of the entrance that you can take photos with. If you are an annual pass holder, you do get your discount here. So make sure you show your annual pass to receive that discount. Um, it didn't take us too long to play through. Um, some of the course is out in the full on sunshine. So be prepared for that. And some of it is located under the uh, breezeway, which is shaded and it's very nice under there. Um, we did play during the day. I'm sure it is extra spooky and fun to see at night. Um, there are definitely lights and stuff that you would see at night that we didn't get to see. Uh, we do plan on going back another time to play the other side. We played the haunted side this time. We'd like to go back and do the alien invasion side and maybe try to do that at night so we can kind of see how it looks like at night. Hey Flamingos, remember to help me out. Please like and subscribe. And if you like and subscribe and comment on any of my videos between now and the time I reach 1000 subscribers, you'll be entered in to win the prize pack. So each individual hole has a plaque that tells you the par as standard normal mini golf, um, but they all have cute little um, rhymes or something that they say uh, to introduce you to the hole that you're at. Um, and they were really fun, really quirky. I highly recommend you take a minute and read these. Uh, they made us laugh. Um, some of the stuff that was written on like the tombstones was really funny and quirky. So I definitely recommend that as long as it's not like super crowded and there's like a bunch of people behind you to definitely take your time and read some of these things and really take in the atmosphere. They do have um, what was really neat to us. Uh, we've played lots of mini golf and this was our first location where they had you keep your score on your phone. So there's a little QR code right up front and you scan it with your phone and it pops it up for you and you're able to uh, keep your score right there on your phone. Uh, it is super cute and uh, a pretty neat way to not have to constantly use uh, pencil and paper. I, so I thought that was quite clever. Fair warning to all the parents, uh, when you get there, uh, there is a beautiful display box and I believe there was two or three of them that, that behold the most beautiful little mini golf balls ever for you to play with. But be warned, they're not free. You don't get to play mini golf with those. You have to buy those and then you can play mini golf with them. So there, I think the guy said they were like seven bucks each, which to me is kind of high for a pretty mini golf ball. So there you go, there's your warning, just know. Just just either expect to pay that if, if you give in and then expect to say no because if you're like me, that's, that's a lot for a mini golf ball. <laughs> I do want to say that the courses uh, themselves are really nice. Um, I've played lots of mini golf in lots of conditions. Um, these courses are very well maintained, uh, loved and cared for. Uh, I was genuinely surprised at uh, how well they were maintained uh, with the, you know, the Florida sunshine it can do murder on paint, um, but they do a really good job of uh, making it still vibrant and um, beautiful to look at. So I want to give them a little round of applause for that. Good job, guys. They do give you a little trivia pamphlet um, that you can fill out with a pencil. The trivia is also done on the app as you go through each um, hole. Um, at the end, uh, you get a prize and the prize is a scratched off ticket per person in your party. 
Um, and it was like, I think we got 10% off of a merchandise item and like 15% off a rental and then um, another percentage off a t-shirt. Um, and they have one t-shirt to choose from. It was just okay and you had to kind of ask for it because it wasn't like clear where it was and it's in a little square on the back. Uh, and they're like, oh, it's that. And you're like, oh, okay. So there's that. Um, and then I guess you could use it to get a discount off those mini golf balls. If your kid absolutely has to have one, play the golf first, get your little scratch off ticket and use the discount then. That's my pro tip for you. I found the course to be a moderate level uh, for challenge, which was fun. So it wasn't too easy and it wasn't too hard. Um, we definitely were able to get a couple of hole in ones, which was a lot of fun. Um, I will say that the snake, um, I forget which hole that was, but when you get to the snake, if you do, uh, the haunted side to go through his mouth was a chore. I tried multiple times and finally just went around. Um, but however, my daughter, she did it first time. So there you go. I, I, I was doing something wrong, I guess. At the very end, there is a very cool uh, contraption that will take your ball and it goes up into a machine and makes all kinds of noises and does all kinds of cool things and uh, then shoots it out near the, uh, the final hole for you to play. That was really cool. Well, there you go, Flamingos. So let me know, what did you think? Have you played this mini golf? Will you play this mini golf? Which side have you played? Have you played both? Have you played during the day? Have you played during the night? Is one better than the other? Inquiring minds wanna know. Until the next time, shake a tail feather.